Hey guys, what's up? It's Cam here, and today I'm coming at you from Calgary, Canada, which is actually my hometown. So today's video is all about how to find motivation. Finding motivation is definitely one of the obstacles we face when we quit playing video games, and I think there are a few key components to this. The first is many gamers experience feeling lethargic and lack of energy when you quit, and that's completely normal. And if you really think about it, when you're gaming, you're getting up late, you're maybe going to school, maybe going to work, maybe neither, and you're just kind of sitting around all day and you're gaming. I don't mean that in a condescending way, but I mean that as literally you're sitting at your computer gaming. So once you take that away, it's not like you're magically going to have all of this energy. And really physically, when you're gaming, you don't actually have that much energy. It's more that you're just very mentally stimulated and engaged. So when you quit, that's one of the first times where you start to realize, holy shit, I don't have that much energy. And I know that's certainly something I experienced. When you don't have energy, that really brings your mood down. Then you find it hard to be motivated, maybe to get out of bed. Maybe you start feeling a little bit depressed. So the first thing I want to say is that that is all completely normal. But over time, after even a week, you'll start to notice that your energy starts picking up more. Now, I want to share a quick story, and this is a story that really helped me understand a lot more about where we get motivation. Let's say I put you in the desert. You're in the middle of the desert, and I give you a 40-pound bag, and I say, you need to carry that across the desert. How motivated would you be? You wouldn't, right? What if that 40-pound bag was your son, and he was sick? How motivated would you be? You'd get it done, it wouldn't even be a question, right? You don't even have to think about it, you would just get it done. Now that's the difference between your motivation levels when you have a sense of purpose and when you don't. When your son is sick and you have to get across the desert, you're gonna find a way because you have purpose, you have a reason for doing what you're doing. But when you don't, when it's just a 40 pound bag, you're like, fuck that, that's heavy. If you're feeling a lack of motivation right now, you need to find a greater sense of purpose. Now. I know when it comes to a sense of purpose and just that word in general, it's fucking annoying. And I really struggled with that for a long time too. What, what you really want to think about when it comes to a sense of purpose is a reason why you're doing what you're doing. That's the key, a reason why. A couple years ago, I was very, very depressed and it was because I went through a breakup. The thing that got me through that was when I decided that I actually wanted to get better. The sense of purpose that I had, what I defined for myself, was a redemption story. I was going to learn how to be happy, I was going to learn how to make new friends, and I was going to learn how to create an impact on the world. Now every day that's what I woke up and started to work on. How could I be happy? I read about the science of happiness, I read positive psychology. I wanted to learn how to make new friends, so I ended up moving to Colorado, then I ended up traveling all around the world, meeting and connecting with awesome people that I knew were doing really cool shit. Over time, I learned how to become friends with them. Now, with Game Quitters, that's me learning how to create an impact. So what's your redemption story? What's your why? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you quitting playing video games? It's not just about quitting because you're no longer happy, but what are you actually moving towards? The other element of finding motivation, motivation is more like a volume knob than a light switch. Don't expect to just turn motivation on and off. It's something that you have to develop progressively. You have to develop every single day. How can you turn your motivation up over time? Those are some things to think about. Let me know what you think. Comment below, answer every comment. And if you guys have any other questions that you want me to answer in an upcoming video, definitely let me know that too. And I'm currently working on a lot of different things for game quitters. If you struggle to find ideas for new activities or new goals, check out 60 plus hobby ideas. And if you know any other gamers struggling with this stuff, definitely let them know about these videos as well. We're only as strong as our community, right? I'm really stoked that all of you are, are taking part in watching these videos, sending your comments, sending your questions. We're all in this together. Let's interact, let's engage, and, and let's see what we can do. Well, that's it for me today. Talk to you guys soon. All right, peace.